So one of the things that we've introduced in the last year is the routine use of laparoscopy to decrease the donor operation. Um, in some cases, we're doing the entire operation laparoscopically, and that's when the recipient is markedly smaller than the donor. The most common scenario, and the cases we've done thus far, have been in children receiving grafts from adults. So the standard incision for, for that operation uh, up until this year was an incision that begins at the breastbone and goes down just past the belly button. Um, takes approximately about four to six weeks to recover from that incision. Um, and um, even though donors have done very well, it's still a, a lengthy recovery. Um, what we've done is in donors who um, are donating to uh, children in this, uh, um, we, what we've done is uh, the entire operation performed laparoscopically through five small ports and then the piece of liver still needs to be removed so we make a small incision in the very lower aspect of the abdomen where the sensation is not as strong and we remove it there. Um, in those cases, the five that we've done so far, what we've seen is a marked improvement in or a marked shortening in the recovery time. So instead of spending four, three to four weeks, really people are reporting that within two weeks they're almost all completely back to normal. So the standard incision for a donor is one of two, do two different operations. For someone donating to someone who is their size or bigger, in an adult to an adult liver, living donor liver transplant, the standard incision begins at the breastbone, goes down to the belly button, and all the way over to the right side. Um, it's a fairly large incision that's probably 10 inches by 10 inches. And we believe that the, the pain and challenges recovering from the surgery are in large part related to this, just the simple size of the incision. So for that operation, what we have done is changed it so that we begin with laparoscopy and avoid the entire side incision and try to make the, the middle incision as small as possible. Decreases hernias, internal adhesions, um, and postoperative pain. And then for people who are donating to someone who is smaller than them or a child, um, what we do is a totally laparoscopic procedure. That's a procedure with five different ports, small, almost the tip of my finger after they're healed, you can hardly see them. Um, the entire operation is done through the ports and then we make a small incision about three inches in length at the very lower aspect of the abdomen and remove the piece of liver so that it can be transplanted in the uh, recipient. We're the only ones uh, who are currently doing the donor operation um, for transplantation in children completely laparoscopically. What we have seen, and this has also been seen in uh, laparoscopic kidney donation, is that donors recover in about half the time of a standard operation and get back to work in about half the time. They're on narcotics. The total amount of um, pain medicine that they use is about a third of the people who, are, who, are, uh, who undergo the standard procedure.